Scenario 1. The Big Crunch This hypothesis stems from the early applications of general relativity to cosmology. In 1922, physicist Alexander Friedman derived a set of equations showing that the universe is dynamic. His solutions indicated that the universe could either expand forever or eventually reverse its course. The determining factor in this scenario is the average density of matter in the universe versus the rate of expansion. It is essentially a competition between the initial energy of the Big Bang and the collective gravitational pull of all mass. If the universe's mass density exceeds the critical density, gravity will eventually halt the expansion. The universe would reach a maximum size and then begin to contract. As the universe contracts, galaxies would be drawn together. This is not merely a decrease in distance, but a compression of space-time itself. The light from distant stars would undergo a blue shift, increasing in energy and frequency. Consequently, the background radiation temperature would rise dramatically eventually becoming hot enough to ignite planetary surfaces. In the final stages, the density of matter and energy would approach infinity, supermassive black holes would merge, and ultimately, all matter would be compressed back into a singularity, a state similar to the moment of the Big Bang. This theory suggests a finite end in a state of immense heat and density. Scenario 2. The Big Bounce The Big Crunch presents a singularity problem where the laws of physics break down. However, theories such as loop quantum gravity, LQG, offer an alternative. Proponents like Abhay Ashtakar and Martin Bojewald propose that space-time is not a continuous fabric, but is composed of discrete quantum units. According to this model, space has a maximum capacity for compression. As the universe collapses towards the Planck scale, quantum effects would generate a powerful repulsive force effectively preventing a singularity. Instead of crushing into nothingness, the collapse would halt and immediately rebound. This suggests a cyclic cosmology. The end of our current universe would mark the beginning of a new one. We could be living in an oscillating universe that undergoes infinite cycles of expansion and contraction. This model raises profound philosophical implications regarding time and causality. If the universe is eternal and cyclic, and if there is a finite number of particle configurations, it suggests the possibility of eternal recurrence, the idea that events and histories might repeat infinitely over vast timescales. Scenario 3. The Big Rip This scenario arises from the discovery that the universe's expansion is accelerating. In 1998, observations of distant supernovae confirmed the influence of dark energy. In 2003, physicist Robert Caldwell explored a specific theoretical form of this energy known as phantom energy. In standard cosmological models, dark energy density remains constant. However, if dark energy behaves as phantom energy, its density increases as the universe expands. In mathematical terms, this occurs if the equation of state parameter W is less than minus 1. Under these conditions, the repulsive force of dark energy would eventually overcome all fundamental forces. Approximately 60 million years before the end, gravity would be overwhelmed, causing the Milky Way to disperse. Months before the end, solar systems would become gravitationally unbound. In the final moments, the expansion rate would become infinite. The electromagnetic and nuclear forces would be overpowered stripping electrons from atoms and dismantling atomic nuclei. The universe would end in a singularity where all particles are isolated by their own event horizons, unable to interact with one another. Scenario 4. Heat Death Also known as the Big Freeze, this is currently considered the most likely outcome based on standard cosmological data. The concept originates from the second law of thermodynamics. Formulated in the 19th century, by physicists like Lord Kelvin. The law states that entropy or disorder in an isolated system always increases over time. In this scenario, dark energy continues to drive the expansion of the universe, but strictly as a cosmological constant. As space expands, matter becomes increasingly sparse. Gas clouds eventually become too diffuse to collapse and form new stars. Over trillions of years, existing stars will exhaust their fuel and fade. 
The universe will be populated primarily by black holes and stellar remnants like white dwarfs and neutron stars. Eventually, even these remnants will cool to the background temperature. Furthermore, as proposed by Stephen Hawking, black holes themselves will slowly radiate mass and evaporate over incredibly vast timescales. On the order of 10 to the power of 100 years, once the last black hole evaporates, the universe will reach thermodynamic equilibrium. There will be no temperature gradients to sustain processes or life, resulting in a cold, dark, and static state that persists indefinitely. Scenario 5. The Ekparotic Universe This scenario is derived from M-theory, an extension of string theory. Physicists Paul Steinhardt and Neil Turok proposed this model to address issues regarding the origin of the Big Bang. It posits that our visible universe is a three-dimensional brain existing within a higher dimensional space known as the bulk. The theory suggests that other brains may exist parallel to ours. While usually separate, these brains can be drawn together by interdimensional gravitational forces. The big splat refers to the collision between two such brains. Such a collision would be catastrophic on a cosmic scale. The kinetic energy of the collision would be converted into thermal energy and matter, resetting the universe to a hot, dense state. To an observer inside the brain, this event would appear identical to the Big Bang. Following the collision, the brains would separate and the universe would cool and expand, only to eventually collide again in a cyclical process. This model offers an alternative to the standard inflation theory, describing the universe not as a one-time event, but as part of a recurring interaction between higher dimensional structures. Scenario 6. The Big Break while most models assume a frictionless expansion, some theoretical frameworks introduce the concept of tachyons, hypothetical particles that travel faster than light. In 2004, researchers explored how a tachyonic field might affect cosmic evolution. In this model, the tachyonic field acts as a drag on the expansion of the universe. Unlike the Big Crunch, which involves a gradual reversal, the Big Break involves a rapid deceleration. The theory predicts that the pressure of the universe could become infinite while its radius remains finite. This sudden deceleration would generate extreme pseudo-gravitational tidal forces. Matter would not be crushed by spatial contraction, but rather torn apart by the intense deceleration shock. The result is a pressure singularity. The temperature and pressure would spike instantaneously, destroying all structures. This scenario suggests a sudden, catastrophic halt to cosmic evolution, potentially occurring far earlier than the timescales associated with heat death. Scenario 7. Vacuum Decay This scenario, analyzed by physicists Sidney Coleman and Frank DeLuccia in 1980, deals with fundamental quantum stability. It focuses on the Higgs field, which permeates space and governs the mass of elementary particles. The stability of the universe depends on whether the Higgs field is in its lowest possible energy state, known as a true vacuum. However, current measurements of the top quark and Higgs boson masses suggest the field may be in a false vacuum, a metastable state. It is stable for long periods but not permanently secure. Quantum mechanics allows for tunneling, meaning the field could spontaneously transition to a lower energy state at any point in space. This would generate a bubble of true vacuum that expands at the speed of light. Inside this bubble, the laws of physics would be radically altered. The constants of nature would change, meaning atoms could not hold together and chemistry as we understand it would cease to exist. Because the bubble expands at light speed, it would arrive without warning. An observer would be instantly disassembled at the subatomic level marking an immediate and total cessation of existence.